I'm going to start working on this crack here first. First thing to do is get to the end of the crack and drill a hole through it so it doesn't keep going any further. I'm not sure what size drill that you actually need to use, but I've got a 3.5mm bit in that at the moment. So I used it. So apparently there's plastic welding, just like any other welding, and that the, the preparation is, is key. So I'll get to cleaning up this area now with uh, whatever I think I need to use. Try a few things. We got some sandpaper to get down into the corner there, and the roll lock discs. Kit, plastic welding kit, there's actually a couple of bits of stainless steel mesh. Might be able to put them across there as well and give it a bit more strength. You can see where someone's welded a patch there, or glued a patch, I should say, previously. any weld the edges they say it's a place to bevel the, the edges some years just a, a die grind a bit on there well, that's the inside of that crack there cleaned up it's uh someone had they glued a patch over the top of it before, so to make sure all the glue was scraped off it, and we're just back to the original plastic because the welding technique actually melts that original plastic as well as putting a filler rod into it. So when it's there, it'll actually be closed up like that, and the filler rod will take care of all the all the gaps. I'll flip it over and clean up the outside. Probably actually start on the outside and then come back and finish it on the inside. Here that I'll use to hold it together. Put the weld on the outside and flip it over and go back into the inside.
makes a bit of smoke. Not sure how um, how strong that'll end up. Let it cool off for a bit. I'll flip it over and weld in the other side. I'm sure I've been doing a lot faster than this, a lot cleaner than this. Side here, I only really needed as a filler because uh, the other side's got a backing plate already on it. Thing is, it did crack through there again because there wasn't any, any relief dug out for it or anything, so it just cracked right along where the join was. So, continuing with the repair work on the bumper bar, I made up that bracket to go in that corner. As you can see it was cracked all the way through there and this section here was out at an angle, so nothing that would hold it back in. I didn't think the plastic repair had, uh, well it may not work there but because it's under a lot of force, given a bit of plastic repair there, there's a crack coming through this way on that one. Here's some uh, poly adhesive in there and just a piece of Folded up zinc and eel, it was cracked on the other side. And a bit of plastic repair in there. Actually, just attacking the, the bumper bar fittings at the moment. Cleaned that one up in the bead blast, it took a couple of minutes to get all that paint off. The paint isn't exactly very thick on those. We'll get to and do the other one in a minute. Getting the bar sander back, and that was uh, it was cracked all the way through there. So it melted a bit more plastic into it, and give it a skimmer filler over the top of that, and see how it turns out. 
an absolutely horrible bumper bus to work on. There's the uh, tree of bumper bar parts. All ready to go. I'll give them an etch, then a top coat of uh, two-pack satin black that I've got here. No need for undercoat. I've painted stuff, uh, painted two-pack straight over etch before and it's last a very long time. Well the front bar is all sanded back now and I've got a little bit of filler put into the uh, places where it's needed. Throw it all back on the front of the car tomorrow and start to, uh, might even get some undercoat on it, we'll see how we go.